Okay, this is a quick tutorial on using your Amazon Fire Stick loaded with Kodi XBMC. <coughs> if, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, it's either you have purchased a Fire Stick um, with Kodi or you are thinking about doing so. Either way, uh, this will give you a good idea how to use it and uh, what it's all about. So, when you first get your stick, uh, get it plugged in. Uh, this is the screen you're going to see. Most likely a pop-up box will pop up and tell you to go to your network connections to set up your Wi-Fi. If that doesn't happen, uh, all you need to do is on the left side there, you go down to your settings, go to system, go down to network, you'll select network, and then you'll move on and you'll select your Wi-Fi and then you'll put in your password. This is the first thing you're going to need to do to get everything running. Uh, the second thing I would recommend doing is if you have an Amazon account, going over to my account, selecting it, go to Amazon account, select that, and then deregister the account that is currently on the stick. Um, it's just a dummy account. When you register your own account on there, uh, everything will just pop up in your account and won't affect anything to do with Cody. If you don't have an Amazon account, you don't have to do this. However, I would recommend creating a free Amazon account and going ahead and registering it under your name. It's just good practice to do that. Um, that way everything is under your name um, instead of having it under just the kind of the dummy account. So once you've done that, you'll notice on your home screen here, that you see Cody there in your recent, you'll notice that it's there in your recent apps. Um, you'll also always be able to find it underneath apps. And then in a third place, if you go down to your settings, go to applications, manage installed applications, scroll down and Cody. And one other thing you can always do from here is by selecting Cody in this must in this installed applications, you'll notice that you can force stop and you can clear cache. Never ever clear data. If you clear data, that will clear everything off of the stick and get rid of Cody. You do not want to do that. But I recommend clearing the cache probably at least once a week. And if for some reason Cody ever freezes up on the system, you can always go in here this way and go to force stop. That'll stop everything in Cody and then it'll relaunch it from start. So if for some reason it ever freezes up, that's what you want to do. <clears throat> so you can launch the Cody from there or from your main screen. We're just going to launch from there. We go, we select Cody and that takes us in. So once you're in Cody, you're going to notice this is your videos menu. Um, I'll briefly go over these things. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get in there and play with them to understand them and better use them. Um, but looking at it under videos, so what you'll see in here, these are going to be the top 25 add-ons that I placed on your home screen um, that I think are the best and most used. There will also be additional add-ons that I've installed on the program underneath videos where it says add-ons. It's highlighted blue now there. If you select that, this will then take you into another menu of a significant amount of add-ons that are also pre-installed onto the stick that I've put on there. Uh, they're just not in the top 25. Um, go in there, play with these, um, see what you like. Um, you're gonna find in here that uh, in the top 25, I've not put any adult content add-ons. So your adult content add-ons are gonna be found in here. For example, cherry pie, erotic. Um, there's another one called uh, white cream. So those are your going to be some of your uh, some of your adult add-ons. There's some other cartoons in here, add-ons, some other live TV, um, YouTube specific things. For example, westerns. Um, this is all uh, different yoga. Um, lots of different things that you can find in here. Um, and so you just play with it and go through it. Um, at the very bottom though, you'll see get more. If you select that. What that does is it then pulls up a menu here. Uh, some of the add-ons in here are going to be ones that are already installed, but this will have um, probably close to a thousand add-ons, um, many of which are not currently installed. If you go through these and you see something that you like, that you think, hey, you know, I think I'd probably, uh, you know, enjoy that. So, for example, television shows of an 80s kid. You'd select it, you'd go install, 
and then there you go. It would be in your videos menu, you could go in, and, and then you would then have that add-on on your system. So, if we back out, and to back out is always to use the arrow button that looks like a little U-turn on your remote. The select button is going to be the top, the top round button, the middle portion is your select, and then the outer edges of that round button are your up, down, left, and right. The home button has a small house on it, uh, and then obviously your fast forward, um, rewind, those self-explanatory play button. And then your menu button has the three little lines on the right side, and that's your menu. So now that we're in here, um, different ways to do things. What you're probably going to be using Cody for are going to be watching movies, watching television shows, live TV, sports, music. Uh, so two ways to watch television on Cody. Um, there are live TV add-ons that will stream TV live as it's broadcasting. Um, <clears throat> those can be kind of spotty, um, and it just depends. There's not going to be every station necessarily out there. Um, local channels are not available. Um, there's simply just too many locals out there, hundreds of thousands for them to be on here. What I would recommend doing, getting a $20 HD antenna from Walmart, that'll take care of your local channels. But as I said, two ways to watch TV, live TV, and then with add-ons like this, Exodus, PrimeWire, Salts, Velocity, Specto, Royal Wii. All of these do pretty much the exact same thing. I just like to give options, so in case you couldn't find one on one particular add-on, you could probably find it on another. 99.9% .9 of the time, I use Exodus, and I never even use any of the other ones because there's no need for it. It's my favorite one, and I think it does the best. But you'll be able to go through each one of them and decide which one you like best. But if we're going to search for a TV show or a movie in Exodus, how TV works on these add-ons are, let's say your television show airs at 7 o'clock and ends at 8 o'clock. Shortly after 8 o'clock, once that live broadcast is ended, the show is going to be loaded up, HD ready, commercial free, ready to watch. Um, this is the way I like to watch it. Look at it as uh, a DVR that has endless amount of space. Um, every Every single previous episode of that show is going to be available. Every season of that show is going to be available. And once it's in there, it never disappears, so you can watch it at your leisure. Um, so, for example, if we select Exodus and say we want to watch a movie, we could go to Movies. And a number of different categories here you can see as far as how you could select of what you want to find but you can always go to just your normal search and type in the name of what you're looking for um, but let's say we just don't know what we're looking for we just want to find some so we'll say most popular and at the bottom right hand side of the screen when it's doing anything you'll see the little working uh, dial going and that just lets you know that it's working so as you can see up here these are some of the most popular movies that are being streamed right now. <clears throat> As you can see, there's some movies that are currently in theaters. Finding Dory, Ghostbusters. Basically, every movie that's in theaters is going to be on here. Not necessarily will it be available um, immediately the minute it hits theaters. Um, you've got to give it some time. Remember, this is streaming off the internet. Sometimes you'll find a wonderful copy two days in the theater. And that's fantastic if you do. But just remember, it's a movie that's in theater. A lot of times, initially, the copy may not necessarily be that great, um, you know, because it could be a cam copy. So just know that don't always expect there to be a fantastic HD copy of Finding Dory the minute it comes out in theaters. Um, give it a little bit of time, and usually you'll find a really great one long before it ever comes to DVD. Um, <clears throat> but once it's out of theaters, you're always going to be able to find a great copy of the movie. Um, you know, so for example, you know, you see quite a few movies here, um, but let's, uh, for example, let's just take a look at The Jungle Book, and that's a recent movie that's come out. So what you do is you'll just select it. What it's doing here is now it's going through and it's pulling up all the different kind of sources um, from all around the internet um, to pull up The Jungle Book for you. So it's going to give us a big list of sources that we can choose from that that movie is streaming from. So now we have a big list of sources, um, and then we just choose from those list of sources to find what to to pick one. Typically, the first one, two, three are usually going to be going to be great. Um, I usually uh, like to go for the first HD copy. Um, sometimes with the newer movies, the 1080p copy um, will have subtitles on it, hard coded into it. 
Um, and so I like to just go ahead and just choose that first HD copy, select it, and as you can see, it's working. Pulls up, and there you go. Fast forward 10 minutes here. Fast forward another 10 minutes. And as you can see, the picture quality is fantastic. Um, and this is a very recent movie that's come out. Uh, and this is going to be the same way with any movie. Um, we'll hit our back button, uh, navigate over here, and stop the movie. And that's how you're going to find your movies. You're going to find your TV shows the exact same way. So you would simply go to TV shows, choose however you want to do it, search, whatever. We'll say most popular again. And I like to put this in thumbnail mode. To do that, all I'm doing is just hitting that top navigation button to the left pulls up an extra little screen and you're able to choose what view that you want to look at it at. And like I said, media is great as well because actually when you do that, it gives you a nice little uh, rundown of the television show. Um, and so some more details for it, which is nice. Um, but same way, you would just select the show that you want and go through the exact same way we did movies to watch it. And so it's that simple to watch your TV and movies. And like I said, PrimeWire, Salts, Velocity, Specto, Royal Wii, all of those are going to function the exact same way uh, for the most part. There's little differences in between them, but they're doing the, pretty much the exact same thing. They're going through and they're streaming and pulling up those different things for your movies and your TV shows. And so uh, if you want to watch live TV, there are a few options. Like I said, there's CC Cloud, Castaway, Phoenix, US TV Now, Live Mix, Channel Pair. All of these are going to have different live TV options on them. Um, Castaway will also have sports options on it. So will Phoenix, um, but let's say you wanted to watch live TV with uh, CC Cloud. And once again, it's not going to have every single station out there, um, but you just go through and play with it and you'll find, most likely find the station you're looking for. I typically use the live TV just for news, just for national news. Uh, national news and sports is basically the only time um, that, that I would use it. Um, but you'll decide, uh, you know, what you like. Um, but for example, let's look and we'll just say news. And one that I watch a lot is a lot of Fox News. So I'd simply scroll down, alphabetical. And so then we have Fox News. We select it. And there you go. And then it pulls up and you have your live Fox News. And it's going to work the same way with every other live TV station. Um, you just find it, select it, and you're good to go. Um, so we'll back out here. Same way stop it and so that's what CC Cloud each one of the live TV things are going to actually have a little bit different form and function Castaway is a little different um, in Castaway like I said you have live sports and live TV um, you know so you can search for your sports and just live TV as well so it has both Phoenix has uh, actually quite a few options in it. It's an excellent add-on. Um, you have live TV in there. You also have the sports. You have new release movies. Um, you have Her Place, which is just uh, movies and things geared towards women. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff in Phoenix. Uh, you'll enjoy playing with that. US TV Now, only difference with US TV Now, you get all the, the major stations, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, all those major national stations. Um, the only thing you need to do with that is you'll have to go to US TV's Now's website um, and you simply create a free account with your email address and you create a password. And then you come back into the add-on, put in your email address and your password and everything pops up. It's all free, um, so easy to use. Live Mix, more live TV, channel pairs, same thing. Um, NBC Sports, sports stuff, uh, NJM Soccer, Pro Sport, fantastic for NFL. Uh, basketball, hockey, and baseball. That's what I use for all of those. That's definitely the best. Sports Mix, Sports Devil is excellent for sports as well. Um, UK Turks, uh, once again, that's good for sports, good for live TV. Um, ESPN3, Sports, Money Sports. NaviX um, is a great add-on. It's a little bit more of an advanced add-on. 
Um, so I would say probably don't play with it too much until you get a little bit more used to the system and how Cody works. Um, but once you do, you'll get a little bit more of a hang of it, and AviX will be a great one for you. A um, couple of different cartoon apps were great. Super Cartoons has a lot of really old school, um, you know, the really great cartoons, say, from like when I was a kid, um, you know, and it's got really good stuff like that. Evolve is more live TV stations, so is uh, Halo TV. Um, so that's pretty much it with your videos. You know, easy to use, just takes playing with a little bit. Um, music, got some great different, uh, you know, radio stations, things like that. Um, programs once you're in here. Uh, community portal is a great way to go in um, and kind of do some cleanup on your system. Um, Xunity maintenance, great way to do some maintenance on your system as well. Um, you just go into there, real easy. You go into maintenance and you'd scroll down here and you see where it says delete my cache. You'd want to do that delete packages and delete crash logs those three things delete crash logs delete packages delete my cache i would recommend doing those three things once a week just keeps everything nice and running smooth um, you can always check your speed on your stick to make sure you're getting the proper internet speed i like to use our new box um, Aries Wizard and Wookie also have speed testers. Um, Orner Box is about the simplest though, and I like to use that. You just click on it, go in, test your speed. You want a minimum of 20 megabytes per second um, dedicated to your stick for it to work well. So if you at least have that 20 megabytes dedicated to your stick, then your speed should be good enough and you should be good to go. Um, if it's less than that, that may be the reason why you might be seeing some buffering issues or things like that. Your maintenance tool, just another good one to go in and do some maintenance with. Um, it's got a lot of different things in it, but just for, uh, there's some how-to videos, definitely worth a look in their general maintenance. Same kind of thing, you can just come in here once a week, clear your crash logs, erase your logs, purge your packages. Once again, all that does is that's just clearing out all the clutter um, and just making sure everything's running smoothly. Um, so that's it. That's pretty much the setup. Uh, very easy to use. Once again, all it really takes is just some time getting used to it, playing with it. But if you've ever got any questions, um, you know, make sure just to hit me up and ask. Um, make sure to join uh, join the Cable Cutters Facebook page. I'm always posting tips and things in there. Um, uh, you don't ever really have to uh, shut Cody down for the most part, um, but if you do want to exit out of Cody, I always recommend going down here to the bottom left corner, and you'll see the second icon next to the store. You press that, and you say exit, and then it just takes, it'll take a few seconds, and it will exit you out and take you back to that home Amazon screen. Um, which is very nice and and it just keeps it running better by exiting out correctly um, if you don't it shouldn't really have any issues but it's just the best way to go about it so once again thanks for watching and uh, enjoy